I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity. But his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way, he shall die for his iniquity. But you will have delivered your soul. Hallelujah, Jesus saves. The Bible says there's a world that looks good in the eyes of a man, but in the end is death. And God does not want you to be lost. Jesus saved. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says there's a way that looks good in the eyes of a man, but in the end thereof is death. And God is standing at the corner of the road of that split road of decision and it's reaching out to you and I to call you to come to him there's a road that looks good in the eyes of a man but in the end is death and many of you are on that road to destruction Jesus Christ said that there are two roads in life there's a road of destruction and there is a road of life and Jesus Christ said, many are on that road of destruction. Jesus said, there are narrow way. And the narrow way leads to eternal life. But there's a broad way also. That broad road leads to eternal death. And many people are on that road. And God is calling you today, which road are you on? Are you on the road that leads to destruction? Or are you on the road that leads to eternal life? God wants you to be on the road that leads to eternal life. Not on the road of destruction. So many of you today are traveling on that road of destruction. That road of destruction allows you to do, do whatever you want. It will not allow you to pursue God. It will allow you to think everything else, anything else that is devoid of God. It will not allow you to think the things of God. But the road that I'm talking about, the road of life, allows you to think the things of God, allows you to focus on the living God. Which road are you on today, my friends? God wants you to be on the road of life. And because we know the terror of the Lord we know the justice of the Lord that leads to destruction of the sinner because we know these things that the wages of sin leads to death because of that we try to persuade men because of that we persuade men we try to plead with you to come to God we try to please with you my friends reconcile with God reconcile yourself to God who can forgive you all of your sins and who can cleanse you from all all your trespasses and all your filth God can cleanse you from everything that you have done for my dear it does not matter what you have done it does not matter what sinful loss that you've, you you sir you saving in your heart Jesus Christ came to save he came to seek and save that which was lost. And I'm not here to tell you because I'm a perfect man that I've never sinned before. I'm here to tell you because I was a sinner. I was a sinner. And how I found freedom is through Jesus Christ who saved me, who gave his life and gave his life as a ransom for me. And so I'm here to, to you today as a beggar telling another beggar where to find bread. I'm here today with you, not as the expert, but the one who has been forgiven from his, of his sins in Jesus Christ, so that I can live a holy life, 
so that I can walk with him in righteousness and I can come and tell you about the wonderful things of God and I can come and tell you also things that are hidden from your sight that you may not know the Bible said there's this whole world is lying in the power of the evil one the devil has taken control of this planet, this earth and he's putting all his agendas in place and he's trans trying to transform our society from a somewhat godly society to godless society you can see the inner workings in our society before there used to be before there used to be prayers at school before school began teacher will lead the classroom in prayer in prayer to God but today but afterwards the atheist comes in and say well we not we don't want that and what did the good people say did they say no this is we've been doing this if you don't want it it's okay you can step out of the classroom but no they took it away for everybody just to appease the few they took it away from the majority to just to appease the minority because the people that are in power are also themselves secretly trying to find a way to get rid of it because it makes them uncomfortable my friend if God the word of God makes you uncomfortable then you the problem is not God the problem is your heart so I'm calling you today on the road that you are walking today is it the the path that leads to life or is it the path that leads to death and destruction the Bible said there are two roads there are no middle ground there are road that leads to life and there are roads that leads to death and the world that leads to life only few people are finding it which road are you and God is calling you today to come to the narrow path of life come to the narrow path of life where Jesus Christ resides where you can all those who are humble thank you sir. thank you can come all those who are humbly seeking God comes to that road that road of eternal life but those that seek death those that seek destruction those that seek not God but seek the pleasures of their hearts they love to walk on the road of destruction the road of godlessness is the road that leads to destruction our society our, our, our nation is leading is going towards godlessness and God is trying to call us back he's trying to call us back he's trying to lead us to it to reject these evil ways to reject these roads that leads to death and destruction and that is why he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ as a savior of the world that is why God is, is that is why it's written in Psalms that God prepared a body for him God prepared a body for Christ Jesus so that he can come as a man and that he can give his life as a man as a ransom for you and I so that we will no longer continue to fall prey to the enemy so that we will no longer fall prey to destruction the enemy of your soul is the devil the devil is the one who walks around like a roaring lion and is seeking whom he may devour and if you allow yourself, if you allow yourself to be devoured by him, he will devour you. The only protection from the enemy, from the devil, is God's protection. You cannot guard yourself from him. You don't have the power. You don't have the power to guard yourself from the devil. The power to safeguard yourself from him belongs to God. My friend, the whole world is in the power of the evil one the Bible say that 
you and I, when we were born into this world, we begin to become the children of wrath by subjecting ourselves to the spirits of this age. The Bible said that you and I were dead in our trespasses and sin. We, you and I were following the inclinations of our hearts and were under the rulership of this spirit of this age. And we all together, we were by nature the, the children of wrath. Because of our sins, the wrath of God is being poured out on all of us. And because of that, we are called the children of wrath. The children that is meant for the wrath of God. But the good news is that God sent the Savior, Jesus Christ, to save you and I from, from that destruction. So that we can have life and have it in full. And Jesus Christ gave his life. He bled and died on that tree for your sake. So that you can receive the forgiveness of God. And by receiving the forgiveness of God, you can be made the righteousness of God. That is what the Bible meant when he said that, that God made him who knew no sin. Jesus Christ, he knew no sin. God made him to become a sin for our sake, that we may become the righteousness of God in him. So glory be to God. Glory be to God who has loved us and gave his only son for us. And today you can embrace the son of God. Today as the Bible say, you can kiss the son so that God is not angry and you will perish in your ways because God's judgment is coming upon the whole world. God's judgment is coming upon the whole world of the ungodly, the godless world will receive the wrath of God. But God does not want you to be judged. God does not want His wrath to come upon you. So because of that, in a way, ahead of time, He made a provision for you. He made a provision for you through Jesus Christ, His Son, so that you can receive eternal life, so that you can have hope so you can have salvation in Him. Salvation means to be saved. What are we being saved from? Ourself. We're being saved from the wrath of God that is coming upon the ungodly. We're being saved from the wrath of God coming upon the wicked. You and I are sinners, my friends. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, my friends, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. This everlasting life, you're not going to find it in religion. You're not going to find it in bowing down and praying five times a day and facing a geographical location. You're not going to find it in going to the temple and eating with people. You're not going to find this in following gurus. You're not going to find this and following false prophets, you're not going to find this life any other way. You're not going to find it in following the philosophies of man. You can only find it through the Son of God, through Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, who gave Himself, who bled and died for your sake. My friend, there's a road that leads to death, and there are many on that road. All you have to do is look at the population of the world altogether. Those, and divide that population between those who believe in God, who knows God. Not just people who are call themselves deists, but don't believe in, the, in, the, in Jesus Christ. Count those, divide those numbers. But the people that are born again, those that are born of of Christ and you will find that the amount of people that are be this that will be destroyed in the judgment to come the amount of people that will be destroyed 
outweighs the number of people who will be saved. Jesus said only a remnant. Only the remnant of mankind will be saved. Only a remnant of mankind will be saved. Even though, even if the population of the world is in the billions, as Isaiah said. Thank you, God. As Isaiah said of his people, even though our numbers may be like the sand of the sea, uh, the sand in the seashore, only a few will be saved. And Jesus said that only few are on that narrow path to life. Only few that finds it. There are two roads. There are two roads, my friends. There are two roads in life. A road that leads to life and a road that leads to death. There's a broad road and there's a narrow road. And only few people find that narrow road that leads to life. The narrow road leads to life. The broad road leads to death and destruction. And few people are finding that narrow path that leads to life. And that narrow path is none other than Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Savior of the world. Jesus Christ that is that road. He said, I am the way to God. I'm the way, the truth. But I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through me. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus said, no man comes to the Father except through him. So meaning that you can't come to, to God through Buddha or through gurus. You can only come to God through a person of his son, Jesus Christ. He is the only way. He is the only way, my friends. I'm not saying this because... I'm not saying this because I don't like your religion or I don't, I don't, I'm hating on your religion. No! I'm saying this because it's the truth, my friends. It's the truth. My friends, I'm just here today to tell you because I love you, I don't hate you. I'm not saying that, that I don't like you. I'm just saying that there is only one road to God. And if in order to make it to God, you have to abandon every other road. My friend, all I'm saying is the same reason why you are here, lined up waiting for uh, the bus, one bus that is going to a destination that you want to go to. The same reason why you are standing here, you are waiting for, for the bus, the R1 bus that goes to King George Boulevard and through this way you, you know that that bus is going to get you to Newton Exchange. You can, if you take any other bus, you're not going to get there. If you take any other bus, you're not going to get there. That's all I'm saying to you. If you don't, if you can't, if you want to come to God, you have to come to it the right way. You have to come to Him through Jesus Christ. If you're not in Jesus Christ, you are in a different, you're on a wrong bus. If you're not in Jesus Christ, you're on the wrong bus, my friends. God bless you, sir. Don't continue to walk around in foolishness. Come to Jesus Christ, for He is the way, the truth, and the life. It's no man can come to the Father except through Him. God bless you. There's blessings in Jesus Christ, my friends. There's curse outside of Christ. There's blessings in Jesus' name. My friend, turn to Jesus Christ. Do not think yourself and based on the things that people have done in the name of, of Christ and you think that's how Jesus is. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus said that, bef that in His coming there are many wolves, that many wolves come at those who came before Him were liars. Amen. Jesus talk, spoke to his people. He said, when those who came before me were liars. And there are those that still come after Jesus Christ and they're still, they're liars. They claim to be Jesus Christ. There are lots of false Christs out there. But Jesus Christ said, you can know them by their fruits. You can know a tree by the fruit that the tree produces. Jesus said, bad trees does not produce good fruits. Neither does good tree produce bad fruits. If you're producing bad fruits, that means because 
you are in a bad you are a bad tree. People do not get good trees producing bad seed, bad fruits. So when you and I are walking away and living a life that is not pleasing to God, producing bad fruits, that shows that there's something wrong inside of ourselves. And that problem, my friends, is called sin. That problem myself is called sin. Sin means lawlessness. In its simplest term, sin, sin means lawlessness. Turning of, for yourself away from the laws of God. Following the laws, your own laws. Making your own rules. And following your own rules and your own ways. And when you do that, the only person you are answering to is the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from day one. The devil makes his own rules. And his rule looks kind of like your rules. Because you both are doing everything to separate yourself from God. And draw farther and farther away from God. And that's what I say, meant when I say that our society is godless. Our society has becoming, uh, is becoming more and more godless. To the point today that when you speaking the truth on the streets, you have few people, minority of people that would yell at you. But we are here for the majority. We are here for those who want to hear. And out of that majority that wants to hear, the minority that wants to follow Christ will come out of those majority. Because Jesus said that those who will follow him are few. They are few in numbers compared to the world, the number of the world who do not know God. Compared to them, the number is few. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through him. He died for your sake. He died for your life. He died for your sins. In order to lead you to God. Jesus Christ made a way for you, my friends, when there is no way. When there seemed to be no way, Jesus made a way. And He is the only one who can set you free. He is the only one who can set you free. The devil wants to keep you in bondage. The devil wants to keep you in bondage. He wants to keep you in drugs. He wants to keep you in substance abuse, in marijuana. But Jesus Christ wants to make you sober. He wants you to have life and have it in full. The devil is the ruler of this world and do not follow him. Do not follow him. Jesus Christ is the only way. The devil it's a deceiver. The devil is a destroyer. The devil is a liar. And those that follow the devil are liars as well. And those who are following the devil will do the will and the bidding of the devil. But we are here today because we are the, we are the people of God. And as the people of God, we call you today to come to Jesus Christ. Because He is the only way. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. There is a road that leads to death. And there is a road that leads to life. And the road that leads to death, there are many people on, on that traveling on that road. And the way that leads to life has few people traveling on it. And Jesus Christ is on that road to life and He's calling you today. He's calling all that walks by. He's calling all sinners, come home. Come where there's forgiveness. Come and find forgiveness. Come and find restitution. Come and find recovery. Jesus Christ is that road. And he invites you today. And if you hear the voice today, do not harden your hearts. Do not say this is from, not for me. 
This is only for the drug addicts and people that have, that have uh, destroyed their lives. My friend, there's no difference from you and that person, that drug addict. There's no difference. The only difference is that the sin that they pick to go, to, to go with. Your sin may be pornography. Your sin may be the, a far mouth. Maybe you're not a drunk, you're not a drug addict, but you are drunkard. The only difference separating you is the type of sin that those people do. But Jesus Christ came into the world to set you free. He came into the world to take you away from the slavery of the devil. My friends, I'm calling you today to come to Jesus Christ. For he alone can set you free. He alone can give you everlasting life. He alone is the way to God. He alone is the righteousness of God. He alone can give you peace in the spirit. My friend, many of you, some of, many of you are living a destructive lifestyle today because you don't know God. You don't know God. You have walked away from, from the truth. You have walked away from the truth and you have believed the lies. You have listened to people tell you who you are. Is when you can, uh, instead of coming to God and asking Him who you are, who He created you to be. Instead, you listen to man, to people tell you who you are. I'm here to tell you, my friends, Jesus Christ is the only one who can set you free. Do not follow the devil. Do not follow the devil. Do not walk around in ignorance. You can know God. You can be a friend of God today. You don't have to be hooked on drugs. You don't have to be hooked on alcoholics, alcoholism. You don't have to live your life practicing sin, practicing fornications, adultery, all kinds of sins. You name it. Today we practice a lot of sin today in, my, in, our, in our lives. Lying, cheating, homosexuality, lesbianism, drunkenness, pornographies. There's a lot of things that our people practice today, but God can set you free from those things. How, how are you doing? Not too bad? Okay. Hmm? Yeah, God is always forgiving. He's always gracious. And God will give you life. My question is, yeah? Can I share with you the... No, 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 before you me, whatever I want to serve you. My question is, yeah? Are you employed or you're not employed? Uh, you I, as a human being. I am employed. Are you sober? Exactly. Sober is a question because you're employed. Mm -hmm. you know? are, here, you, are, you, are you sober? You have a baseline. Yeah. You're, you're questioning. Hey, what's the point I have to do with you? Are you, Maybe uh, are you sober? My mom is drunk from day birth to... Is he condemned? Well, you have to no, change. No. You have to no, change. No, no, I'm saying that's his nature though. Your nature, you are here. You mean it? Telling whatever I'm telling you, but this is your employment. I'm telling you, you're but getting God, laid. God can set you free. No, you're getting laid because of this bullshit. I'm telling God you. God can set you free from no, drunkenness. No, no, no. God, I, yo, God if, I, can, if I get the same fucking money you're getting, no, 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 I'll be like God, you. No, no, God. No, no, no. Whatever God, you're getting though, out of whatever, God wants to you're not here me. for free. God, you're being paid, you're receiving benefits. You have advantages here. You don't have a fucking just me. I'm saying real. My friend, I'm here to no. set to set exactly. you free. Exactly. To tell you about Jesus but so you can be you saved. You know who's you? You're he black can. dude from from Africa. He you can. get laid here with, with white people. You know what, what I mean? Eh? You what? get laid. You know that. No. That's the beginning. You got no, a woman I'm here. Not a, I'm not a funny kid. No, you get a woman though. I'm not a funny kid. You get like a woman, you. yes or no? If you want to, know, I'm married. No, you get a woman, obviously. I'm married. So yes. here you in a benefit been fitting situation. What like is you, what? Do, what do you want? Are you trying to say? No, 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 no. Whatever I'm trying to say. Yeah. You think, no, you think you, no, no. You yeah. think you, you think this whole world has a problem? You know what the problem is? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. You know what the problem is? Yeah, no, share no. This with you. you know, share the shit. But you know what the problem is? Do you, do you know? Do you know? You have? Do you? Do you know? No, want I'm to know no. God? 
Oh no. Do you want to know God? No, but you though. I know. That's with God though. Do you want to know God? You and me, we show one problem. Stomach. We have to feed this shit. Whoever is feeding you, you're complying. Whoever is feeding me, I'm, being feed I'm complying. Yeah, I'm, no, no, no. I'm being... I'm, I'm, I'm no, that's, being, that's the faith though. I'm being fed no, by God. No, whoever is feeding you though, you're complying. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Is that yes or no? I'm being fed whoever by God. Whoever is feeding you, I'm being fed that's your by God. God. Yes. Whoever I'm is being fed by you? God. That's your God. He's whoever feeding whoever is giving you sex, accommodation, He's and feed your stomach, that's your God though. No. No, obviously. No. Who, 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 where do you get your sex who's from? Who's your God? Who's no. your God? Whoever is feeding me, yeah. you mean it? Eh? Whoever is giving me sex, you yeah. know what I mean? Eh? You mean it? That's my God. Same as you. Wow. So Satan is your God then? Who is Satan for you? Satan is, uh, is I didn't even mention that word. The devil, the devil. I don't even know yeah, the, the devil. De it's the one that gives you sex, money, no, no. gives me, you all of me, those things. Trust me, trust me. Yeah. Me, I've never murdered a human being. I mean, eh? You never murdered a human being. Have you? Have you? A, are you mad at me? No, have you ever murdered a human being? Are you mad at me? No, I'm, 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 that's a question. I don't be mad. But have you ever murdered a human being? You? Yeah, I've been mad at a human being before. Have you ever murdered, killed a human being? Oh, no, I haven't. Same here. I mean, eh? why should yeah. I condemn me, me and you? I mean, what's the well, difficulty? If you're, if you're, what's your sin though? If you're a murderer and uh, if you're not... No, no, I'm just telling you. If you're not a murderer but you are... No, no, I'm just telling you though. If you're not no, a... No, 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 it's not an if. It's a, it's, it's a reality. If you're not a I've murderer... Never, it's not an if, if thing. If you're not a murderer... No, it's not an if thing though. But, but if you're not I a... I can prove I've never murdered a human being. If you're not a murderer but you are, but you also are a drunkard, it's, it's, still, it's still, you're still a sinner. I'm coming down in the hierarchy of being a sinful of anybody. You tell me, you trust me, you are, you are, you are well hired, uh, you are being fed, look at your stomach. Are you, are you, are you, are you... No, I, it, I hear you laughing here. It seems like you're not in your right mind though. See, obviously... Are you drunk? Hey. Are you drunk? I'm not a murderer. Are you drunk? I'm not a murderer, I don't kill people bro. Are you drunk? Whatever it is, yeah. Are, are you drunk? I, I'm no. fed, I'm fed. Yeah. Are you nice sober, food. are you sober? Obviously yes. I can't kill, bro. No, are you I mean, sober I, right now? You, you seem kill. to me like you're. I cannot rape. I mean, I've never murdered. Have you ever raped anybody? Have you ever murdered anybody? Okay. I'm asking a question. Jesus have Christ. You ever Jesus no, no, no. died for no. you, okay? But have you ever murdered anybody? And Jesus can give but you. Have you ever murdered anybody? Jesus you. can give you eternal have you ever life. Murdered? No, you know. before you ask for forgiveness. Yeah, Je mean, Jesus. Have you ever murdered anybody? Jesus can give you life. No, obviously I have a life though. But have you ever murdered anybody? Well, you don't. So, have, so you don't have said, a life though. If no, you but don't you have, though. You have, you, I'm not killer though. I've never, I've never murdered any human being. If you don't have, you're gonna feel sorry for me too. Bad. So does that make you a good person? It doesn't matter. But in the hierarchy of evil, I've never murdered a human being. Not okay. Even a so you not have murdered a human being, but you, but uh, you've committed adultery. So what about you though? Have you committed? No, no. Who, have, no you. Have you ever murdered? Have you committed a fornication? But you, have you ever murdered a human being? Okay, I don't it's think, I don't think we can, I don't know. Have Jesus, you ever murdered? I mean, if turn murdered, to Jesus Christ, he's the only way, the truth me, and the life. You're talking shit though. No I mean, man comes to the Father except Africa, through him. You killed people before. Turn to Jesus you. Christ, I mean, he is the only murdered. way that can save you. you. Shit real. I mean, Trust me. It's okay. You can you talk know, to me when you're sober. We can talk. Sober? We can have a, yeah. Because you're hiring me. No, you're drunk. No. I can't talk to no, you. No, you're being hired here. I can't you talk to you. You have a job though. You're getting paid here. You, you are laid by white people because you behave. Okay. Look at you. I'm it, you. How much? You are, behave, how much am I gonna? Do you want me to give you ten dollars to walk away? You want seriously? Yeah. Money? Yeah. Can I give you ten dollars to walk away? See, you wanna show me if money? You wanna okay. pay me like you just paid me? Money? Okay. Maybe I okay. pay you like the way people paid you to be stupid. Turn to Jesus, ma'am. You full of the, you full of the devil. The no, devil, no, no, no. the devil, devil have you in the control, and Jesus Christ can Prove set it. you free, my friend. Prove it. Prove it. Law. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ have can set you have free. Have you ever He can set you free. The devil have you in bondage. Jesus can set you free. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is employing you? The devil employ you to come and no. harass me? You, the devil, here. the devil employs this man to come and harass me, to come and harass the good news. You're not gonna win. Hey, You're not I'm gonna not win the devil. Father, what in the name of know? Jesus Christ, I cast you away. Hey, Walk, hey. get away from me. Hey, who's supposed to be sorry? You? You kill so many people. Jesus said, you don't know me. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you, I don't know you, you don't know me. I don't know you, you are here counting hours, you're being fucking, you're being, being hired. 
I'm hired by the Most High. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm hired by the Most High. Thank you very much. Have a, have a, have a wonderful day, sir. Have a, wonderful, have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Jesus saves. Thank you. Jesus saves. And don't don't let anger take you away. Anger is a disease. It's, and drunkenness is a disease. Turn to Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The devil is the ruler of this world, and he wants your soul. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ can set you free.